Hello and welcome to the Tower Defense Game Tutorial Series. This is episode number 8. Uh, we're nearing the end of the series, but don't worry, it's still going to continue uh, with these last few episodes. So, in this episode we're going to be working on fixing a few problems that are in the game, um, and a few things that we need to do uh, that are quite important, and we're going to be adding a health bar uh, to the enemy, a visible graphical health bar to the enemy so you can see their health. Uh, and everything like that so let's jump right into it so the first thing I wanted to do was show you a bit about the problem that we have here with the uh, turret itself and that is uh, with the range so I'm actually just gonna quickly disable this wave spawning script here um, and you can see here that when we try to select this to be able to see that I can't select this now, the reason why is because the actual range is getting in the way and that's a problem. So we want to actually make it so that the range, uh, specifically the collider, not the graphic, um, is invisible to the camera so it doesn't get in the way. So the way we do this uh, is actually really easy. We select the range and we click on layer and we're going to add a whole new layer. Let's go to the layer where it says user layer 8. Um, we're going to call it invisible or invis if you want to call it. I'm going to call it invisible. Um, we're making a whole new variable called invisible. Then we click on range and set the layer of range to invisible. No, we're not going to change its children because the children, the child is actually range graphic, which we don't want to set to invisible to the camera. We only want the collider to be invisible. So uh, by doing this, uh, we're going to go to the manager here, uh, not the manager, we're going to go to the main camera and we're going to be going to where it says culling mask, which is right here. And the culling mask is everything, but we're going to change this. We're going to untick the little check mark here that says invisible. And by unticking that, uh, the culling mask becomes mixed everything but invisible and if we click on play you'll be able to see here that we can actually select this entire thing and this uh, the range collider does not get in the way anymore all right so just to show you uh, the next thing we need to fix uh, if we actually click on this and we actually make uh, we spawn in the turret you able to see it has no range and you can see here it has nothing it only has the shooter in the base it has no scripts it has no range it has nothing now the reason why is because we haven't actually pressed the apply button over on this turret. And if we ended up deleting this turret here, there's no way to get back everything that we've actually been building here. The turret, the, the scripts stay the same, but what we've been, what we've been doing with it, uh, specifically the range size and the range graphic, will not remain. So click on apply to save all that we've made with the turret. And now you can see that if we go here and press T, you're going to see it also has a range. You'll be able to see and spawn it everywhere and there we go so yeah now the turrets have been updated so the prefab now also has the range all right so there we go this is just the fix that I wanted to do before we actually get to adding a health bar all right so let's add the health bar um, so as you can see here I've imported the health bar uh, sprite uh, which is just a little image uh, that looks a lot better than just a white plain uh, color it looks a lot better than that uh, if you want to have this, I will have it in the description below for download uh, if you want it. Alright, so to get ourselves started, we're going to press the prefabs folder here. We're going to drag in the enemy, put it anywhere we want uh, so that we can actually modify the prefab. So we're going to go here and press game object, UI, canvas. We're going to be spawning in a canvas. You can see it's really big, but we're going to make it so that it actually goes with this guy here. We're going to change the screen the render mode to world space. Um, and set the position to be at 0, 0, 0, but instead of that 0, we're going to drag the canvas into the actual enemy itself, uh, and then set its position to 0, 0, 0, so it is within the actual enemy's position. Uh, next, what we're going to be doing is setting the width and height to 5 by 5, and the rotation on the x-axis to 90 degrees. Alright, so now that we have done that, we're going to be modifying... Uh, this just a little bit. We're gonna be making a new UI and adding an image. All right, so there we go. You can see it's ginormous, but don't you worry about that. We're gonna make the size six by one, or not six, five by one, and we're gonna be moving it to zero, zero, zero. Once again, instead of being uh, like that, we're gonna set the scale. So it's 0 0.5, 0 0.5, and 0.5 on all axes. And then we're just gonna be rotating this uh, canvas just a tiny bit, uh, by 90 degrees on the z-axis, uh, so it's like this, negative 90 degrees on the z-axis, so that the actual uh, 
image stays upright facing up towards uh, the last waypoint there. All right, so then we're gonna move the image on the, uh, I'm assuming Y position, uh, up by about one. So just above the actual health bar itself. Uh, now we can see the size of the health bar is just a bit too big. Seems just a tiny bit too big, so I'm gonna modify the size. So this is just about 0.35 by 0.35 and 0.35, which should look just fine for what we're achieving. All right, so now we have that, so let's go ahead and import the actual uh, sprite that we have here. Just drag and drop the health bar sprite into the sprite icon there. Um, you can see here that it's nice and set up there. All right, so this is actually gonna be our background. Uh, we're gonna have two different images here. So we're gonna have the HP background, which is gonna be what we have right now. And we're gonna make another one called just the normal HP. And it's gonna be, they're gonna be the exact same thing except for they're gonna be different colors. So this one's gonna be a nice uh, gray color here. I already have a preset here. Um, and then HP is gonna be a nice red, which I already also have a preset for it as well. Um, I'm just gonna lower the saturation there. So you can see here, now if we go to the HP and we go to where it says image type and click on fill, you can see that if we move this fill amount slider, you're able to see that it's still going radial. We don't want it to go radial. Uh, we want the fill method to be horizontal. And now if we move the fill amount uh, slider here, you'll be able to see that it actually fills as if it's an actual health bar. So how do we modify it uh, so that it m uh, works with our current HP? To do that, we're gonna need to actually calculate uh, a nice, uh, out of one to zero, uh, what our current HP versus the max HP is. By doing this, all we need to do is divide current HP by max HP, which we'll be doing in the script shortly. So let's do that. So let's go ahead and modify our, uh, what's it called, enemy health script. So here we are, we're gonna add a whole new variable. Um, we're gonna be calling it HP bar, and it's going to be of type image, which is the type of UI that we're using. Now to use that actual type, we're gonna have to import something, which is import uh, the uh, thing called the unity engine.ui, which is importing the ability to actually use image as a type. All right, so by doing that, we're gonna be going into the update function and modifying the HP bar. We're gonna be setting HP bar dot fill amount, which is what we're modifying here, is going to be equal to current HP divided by maximum HP. And by doing so, we're gonna be actually completing that. So HP bar is now set, it is all good. Now we have to remember to actually apply the HP bar to the script. All right, so here we have uh, it loading. Oh, we have a bit of an error here. You can see here that HP bar, the P in HP is actually capitalized. So let's capitalize that there. And now the error should disappear and we should see an HP bar variable. There we go. And now we can just drag in the HP uh, little thing here and drag it into the HP bar. And now we can go to the enemy, press the apply button, delete this little copy we have here and press play. Now you can see here that it's nicely moving here. You can see how this, the health is actually taken away uh, with every shot. And there we go. So now we can actually see, at the end of the last episode, we were able to see how uh, the health bar, uh, not how the health bar, how the actual health was half. Uh, two of them had half health before they left to go uh, destroy our last point there. Uh, and now we can actually physically or not physically, but visibly see that uh, in the game. All right, so there we go. That is exactly how we make uh, visible health bars in the game. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and like uh, the video uh, for more tower defense game tutorials. All right, so once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I hope to see you in the next episode.